So this particular day at the store, we make, well, I guess not this exact day, but we actually receive our biggest purchase ever. This purchase for the store is gonna change everything about how we operate uh, as, as a business. And this, this item that we got costs more than my car. You will see it here in just a second. So I don't even think I showed this trade in from a couple days ago. It was a big one. I had to leave as soon as it came in. It is the Sega. Is this the Tower of Power, Jordan? I don't know. I, if I think it, the Model One is because okay. it stacks. Okay. So this is the Sega CD and the Sega Genesis Model Two. <laughs> it's so much. There's so much going on, and the Sega 32X. And then there's like so many power supplies. It's ridiculous. It's like three power supplies. It's a whole power strip. Yes, to like to make this thing work. So this came in and we have this price at 300 and then this is one of how many how many other Sega CDMs are more expensive than this? Like two maybe? Three? Um I would I would say probably three. Yeah. Three, four. Well, this one is a big one, guys. Uh Lunar Eternal Blue. And this is one of the games that Jordan said basically got you into RPGs or gaming. Yes. I got PS1, the Lunar One box. Okay. And it just blew me away. Yeah. And Lunar originally came out on the Sega CD. So I That's saw awesome. this behind the counter. He's like, I gotta have it. I gotta so, have it. So anyway, I've had this kind of off to the side for him because I knew that he wanted it. He's like, let me bring in some stuff. We actually were texting like at two in the morning last night uh, about some of the stuff he was gonna bring in to try to trade to be able to get that. And he brought in some additional things as well that, that are over there that he didn't actually have to sell because he actually got to the price point that he needed to be um, for everything. So we have this, it's missing one of the games, uh, which is fine. We have stacks of them over there, I'll just add to it. Yeah, uh, and then Splatoon 3, that one sells quickly. I always have to kind of play that in my head too. It's like, how quickly is this rare, you know, Sega CD game gonna sell? over some of this stuff that'll probably go pretty quick. Pikmin 3, Animal Crossing, New Horizons. This one will sell real. I don't even know if we have any copies of that right now. This is actually a pretty uh, rare limited edition piece right here. It's for Psychonauts. Yes, it's from Limited PS4. Run Games. This is one of my favorite games of all time, so I had to buy it. So, Explorer, uh, Explorer's Edition of Breath of the Wild, one of my favorite games of all time. I played the crap out of this as a kid. Uh, a wave bird control, we're gonna have to replace the stick. That's not a big deal. Um, this Octopath Wayfarer's Edition, we just need the game to complete that. So that'll be good. And then this, I'm prom I am i don't know if I told you yet, this is probably gonna go in my personal collection. I just, I figured. this stuff like this is the kind of stuff that I wanna, I wanna keep, man. So this is the A Link Between Worlds, which is one of the best games, man. It is so I, I, fun. When you reset okay. it, that game will be on there. Oh, okay. I, I think a lot of these systems, when you reset them, the packing game is just automatically on the system. Which makes sense, which makes sense. So I'll probably leave it. Probably leave it as is. I probably won't even take it out of the box to be honest, but it is really clean. That is what I'm most excited about getting. So I'm excited. Oh yeah. Jordan's excited. Very excited. Everything is good. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Y'all, I'm here with the famous, famous Kinsley and Rory. They're like world famous. Look at that. All right, talk to me guys. What do we have here? Why did you guys, why did you, okay, we got the, the Got Milk Barbie. And then Oreo. And, and what did you say? You're like, these two have to go together, right? Because oh. they're made for each other. They're made for each other. You got Got Milk and Oreo Fun Barbie. Oh, and then check it out, guys. 1996 Olympic Gymnast Barbie. So you guys, I'm assuming y'all like Barbies a little bit? This one does a lot. I don't. She uh -huh. used to. <laughs> She's like, I don't. Gosh, I'm out. Well, okay, so these are awesome. Glad you guys are picking those up. Check this out. Pop rocks. Pop rocks. Pop rocks for days. <laughs> More pop rocks. And these guys, okay, I feel like these always like hit people's yeah. nostalgia, man. These old hit little, uh, first time I saw. they're just like uh, fruit with basically pixie stick sugar yeah, in it. Much. And then they got Splatoon too. Great pickups, guys. We guys have a merry, merry Christmas. Is there anything that y'all want for Christmas? More, uh, more Barbies like this. She wants an apple pencil. <laughs> for my iPad. And then she'll take all the Barbies she can get. Okay, <laughs> how, about, how about Dad? I'm just glad they're here with me for Christmas. Oh, Christmas time! Christmas is so fun. It's happening! It's happening! It's happening! It's inside there. It will go. I think, I think. Oh, it's gonna fit right there. Sorry. It's gonna wait. fit? It's gonna fit right Yeah, there? I think it's gonna fit right there. Oh, he's only like 18 by 12. Dude, that's or he's like 40 inches tall, which is taller than me. Right there. 50 disc buffer. We're, we're still gonna keep old, old faithful. 
It's gonna change everything. This is gonna change everything, guys. This is awesome, man. We're so excited about this. So I'm so pumped to get this machine and to get it all hooked up, but job number two calls. I gotta go to job number two. So I'll update you. It's probably gonna be all installed. Whenever I get here, it's gonna be right there. And it's gonna be awesome. 50 discs at once. It's gonna be a game changer. It's gonna be awesome. All right, back at the store after yesterday where we had the three trades, Carrie is still here. He's still here. And he's still working. Guys, this is a great friend. Carrie is the guy that he is there always for every move, every just, single move. I just work for food. That's about it. <laughs> every single move I've ever had from many houses. We moved a lot since we've been friends. I've moved like seven-ish times. You've moved like I've probably four. Probably the same seven. at this point. So many, so many moves. Well, we're here. Now we're actually into the next stage of getting all this stuff priced. So right now, Carrie is getting everything priced. Anything kind of cool so far? What's that guy going for? I was going to say, these are kind of all over the map. Depends on if you have the thermos or not, so. Well, it's in such good shape. It's in color. I'm thinking maybe in the 30-something range without the thermos. So, so I'll be honest, I actually paid more than that, but sometimes it's how it goes. Sorry. Sometimes it's how it goes. So you got that one, then you got the, the Sport, the Sport Goofy, and then the Buck Rogers. So got all those. Um, still getting all this stuff in. Got all the in-sync dolls. That's not where they're going to reside. They'll be in a much uh, nicer area. But my wife is actually here too. She's pricing things. We got a bunch of trolls that just came in. So I got all of these 90s treasure trolls. A little gem in the middle of their bellies. We got Suki, uh, Spritzy. So these are all brand new in box. And then I don't know if I've shown, if I've already showed this, I'm sorry, forgive me. We have our Beanie Baby topper now. We got a bunch of Beanie Babies. So um, my beautiful bride is going to make a girl section over here. Yes, she's gonna have a bunch of stuff. So this one's like Ellen. You've been um, dubbed to make a girl section in the store today. Finally, about time. No, nope. Lisa Frank in there. I can't find Lisa Frank, and I can't find Polly Pockets. Well, we'll that makes that. sense because. They were this big. They were, they were small. They got, now, got a lot of Mighty Max. Um, the big thing, the big thing that has happened, guys, is we, we actually call this, we actually call our disc machine Prince Ali because we had to make a lot of space in here. So we're like, make way. God's got to make way for Prince Ali. All right. This is it. This is the 50 disc buffing machine. 50. 50 discs, a game changer. This is going to change the way we operate as a business, because usually we have to come back here and do one at a time, and then you gotta like help customers and come back after five, six minutes and do another one. 50, 50 discs, you can do all kinds of stuff. It's kind of noisy, I'm not gonna go back over by it, but basically you can like program it to do, you know, these five discs do deep, you know, deep clean, do these discs as Blu-rays, so it's crazy, man. You set it, you forget it, you move on to something else. So there's 50 discs going on right now, got a bunch of packages that I'll rummage through at some point. And then, golly, that thing is loud. And then I still have to do this trade right here. That's gonna be my main thing today, is to go through that and then to add in anything else into the store. I think I have a couple more products that are new to the store. So I'm gonna have my wife here in a second make one of these sections to be like a 90s girl, girl themed booth. And uh, yeah, get those in. So I'm gonna leave it up to Ellen. You have options. We probably could, if you wanted, we can condense. We could probably condense those down together into one. Can I use these? And you could use whatever you want. So I don't know. Do you think they should be here, there, here? I think here? it should be a whole girl section right there. Okay. But I'm saying can I put Mario stuff like on these? Yes. Yes. So this is all the stuff we got. We got the trolls. We got some lunch boxes, Beanie Babies, the Barbies. And there's still some more stuff. I got that light bright I thought we could probably put over here as well. Yeah, we but need a lot more. Yes. Well, let's, let's make this a 90s girl section. She's a, she's, a, she's a genius. She even added in all of the VHS. You got some birthday, birthday party, Barbie. Sky, I didn't even know I had that. Yeah. And then the trolls, the Beanie Babies, and we still have a lot more um, Barbies. Tons of Barbies, there's a bunch over here. Okay, so what are we gonna do with that? I don't know. I'll all figure right. it out. Good job, she's gotta go pick up her kids, but thank you so much, my love. 
Thumbs up for you. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, guys. What a day. I'm exhausted. It is super late. Uh, but I did want to show you a couple more things before I head out. Here are a couple more items that came into the shop. This is a Sega Genesis complete in box with Sonic Spinball. I don't know if I've ever seen that particular variant before, so that is awesome. Uh, right here, we have the Sonic 2 Genesis CIB. These are both pieces that I'm thinking about keeping. I'm leaning more towards the Sonic Spinball just because I've never seen it before, and uh, I actually really like that game. We have another N64, a Japanese N64. This right here was a gift from Ethan for Christmas. Dude, thank you so much. This came in to the store and he gifted me one of the most beautiful lunch boxes I've ever seen. I've never seen this blue one. I've only seen the red one and this thing looks freaking new. Thank you so much, Ethan. You did not have to do that and I am forever grateful. That is going to go great into the game room. And then we have a couple more um, or a couple figures right here. This is one of the cleanest Game Genie boxes I've ever seen. Uh, I actually got this from uh, Retro Attack on Whatnot. So thank you so much for this, man. That thing looks beautiful. Here is a super wide gear. This is the stuff that I love. I love all the weird accessories, especially whenever you see them uh, complete in box. And this is minty as well. And then just a couple Fantastic Four figures. So um, it is a couple days after Christmas. Cannot believe how uh, crazy the store is still. I mean, people are still coming in. I guess people are still on break, I get that. But I mean, check out this. Look at this Switch selection. It is uh, very depressing. Look at this, this is horrible. There's no games over here. Look, there was tons of games there. And yeah, it's deflating for sure. Got to get more Switch games in, but that's kind of that's kind of part of it, man. You know, Christmas we get hit really hard. It's the time where everybody buys stuff, so it's all good. <laughs> Even this, guys, look at this. These were all full, and they're so empty right now. You can tell that it was Christmas, but that is it for now. I'm gonna be in tomorrow and the next day, so I will show you all of the stuff that's happening in the game store in the next couple of days. Peace.